We are back at the large tree in the meadow, early in the morning. The time clock reads, day two. Boy enters with best friend. Slowly all his other kid friends come in, playing in and around the tree. Swinging from branches, playing hide and seek and eating apples, all laughing and joyous. Look at this day, look at the sun. We're gonna play, have some fun. Nothing to do, we've got all day to play. Hanging around, jumping on rope, hop, skip, and nothing but hope. Just for this day, everything's going our way. This is the best day that we ever had Make the most of it while it lasts Gonna seize the day, gonna find a way, gonna do my best in this brand new day You can be blue You can be sad You can be crying there's no denying it's gonna be okay Yesterday's gone, yesterday's past Gotta move on, problem will last Come on along, we're gonna have a blast This is the best day that we've ever had Gonna make the most of it while it lasts Gonna find a way, gonna do my best In this brand new day We're gonna run, we're gonna dance We'll be the ones to take us a chance Life could get better than this If we got paid is the best day that we've ever had Gonna make the most of it while it lasts Gonna seize the day, gonna find a way Gonna do my best in this brand new day Best day that we've ever had Best day that we've ever had Best day that we've ever had. This is the best day that we've ever had. Gonna make the most of it while it lasts. Gonna seize the day, gonna find a way, gonna do my best in this brand new day. In this brand This is a great tree. How'd you find it? My grandfather. He's the best. That's when I first met her. Her? Why do you think she's a girl? I don't know exactly. When we were talking, it just seemed like she was a girl. But don't worry, she don't have no cooties or nothing. You mean when you were talking. Trees don't talk. It's just not logical. This one does. Tree, say hello to my friends. Everyone leans in to listen, but the tree doesn't say a word. Tree, why won't you talk? I'm bored. Let's pretend we're princesses trapped in a castle. And a handsome prince has to come rescue us. Aw, how oh, romantic. romantic. Girls are so dumb. <laughs> Let's make a fort and pretend that enemies are attacking. I will be the king. No, I want to be king. It's a big tree. Let's have two kings. That makes no sense. Come, Come on. on. Two kings it is. Yay! Yay! Bunch of kids shooting fake guns and using branch pieces as swords, fighting each other in the air. More laughing and chasing, slowly kids getting worn out. Lunch is ready. 
I gotta go eat lunch. Me too. I'll come back and play this afternoon. Let's go play with dolls. And we'll have her get married and live happily ever after. Aw, girls are so dumb. <laughs> Everyone slowly leaves as the boy cozily falls asleep under the tree. Sit beside me all the day, it's my heart's desire. In the sun I give you shade, in the night a fire. Call on me, I'll be your friend, on the morrow till the end. I am the giving tree. Yes, boy? Why wouldn't you talk to my friends? I'm sorry, boy, but it wasn't their time. They weren't ready. But when they are, they'll hear me the way you do. How come I can hear you? Because you have an open heart. But be careful, boy. You will be tested. But I will always be here for you. I love you, Tree. Boy happily gives Tree a big hug. And I love you, boy. Boy carves initials in the tree trunk. Me plus tree. Scene opens in a dirty, dark room. There are rats, cobwebs, spiders, and broken things. Live Ed and Ecans are throwing some pieces of wood into a pile in the corner. Natas is eating out of a trash can. Tenebris is seductively slinking around Rafikal. Rafikal is tidying up a bit, erasing a chalkboard, preparing for a meeting. There is a round table with three chairs around it. Gather round the table, Cretans. Work, work, work. Do this. Do that. I'm so sick of you ordering us around, Rafika. Eakins, just trust me. We'll be done here soon enough. I'd trust you with anything. That's enough, Tnepris. I don't need you fighting my battles for me. All right, everybody, just calm down. The sooner we get done, the sooner we eat. <laughs> At least we get to sit. I get a chair. Natas and Tnepris fight for the last open chair which Natas wins. Tenepra sits seductively on Ekin's lap, making Natas envious. Here's the plan. I'll lay it out so even you jerk brains can figure it out. It's all about the wood. Ooh, the wood. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, that's enough of that. The samples of the wood you've been bringing in are no good. If it's not from a special tree, it really does us no good. What's the point, anyway? I'm about to tell you, you lazy slob. Let's not start this again, or we'll never get to dinner. Let's not start that again. Live Ed, you're such a brown noser. It's Live Ed. Can't you read? <laughs> Enough! The trees have used their ability to disguise themselves so that we can't easily detect them. So we're going to have to be more systematic, better organized. But mark my words, we will deforest the entire planet if we must. First, you said to gather all the wood into samples we could. Then you say those are no good. I'm so tired. Now you want us to cut down all the trees. Where will it end? It won't end until we get the right trees cut down. There's only so many ways to tell what type it could be. Uh, where do we start this time? We must check into every meadow, every forest, every park. Don't forget to check in people's backyards. Sometimes they plant trees there, too. With all the root damage and leaves to pick up, I'll never understand why. <laughs> but they do. How about just asking the tree if they're the right one? Wouldn't that be easier? Now, that would be a good idea. But they won't talk to us. They're too clever for that. They'll have to be tricked. What about the trees that are just giving things away? Now, where are you going to find one of those? They don't exactly grow on trees. Well, you know. Anyway, you need permission. 
If they're owned by a human, to cut down those trees. Levitt, you don't ask for power. You take it. Now think. You keep your ears open about peculiar, unusual trees. Any clue, any sign that might suggest that a, this special kind of tree, it'll be worth a fortune. Live it, you go north. It's live, Ed. Whatever. Eakins, <laughs> to the west. Not our south. Tnepris, you're staying with me. Ooh. Just say yes. Yes. Failure is not an option. We'll get to the root of this problem. Now go. Lights dim as they dance out, grooving to music. The time clock shows two weeks later. We see on stage left the interior of the boy's bedroom. His grandpa has died, and they have just returned from the funeral. They are trying to comfort the boy and reading him a bedtime story from a fairy tale book called The Giving Trees. The boy is very sad, numb. Many, many years ago, in native phone bag, there was a trio of ancients who believed in things like truth, charity, and love. These ancients looked out for their subjects, the growers and the harvesters, of what we would call trees. These trees supplied everything needed for the people to survive. The trees commonly called giving trees... Hey, that's just like my tree that Grandpa gave me. The big old tree with the apples on it, out in the west meadow? Yeah, how did you know? Grandpa tried giving me that tree when I was about your age. Really? I never got the joke, though. What? He swore upside and down the other that it would somehow give him advice. It never gave me anything except a few lumps on the head from falling apples. <laughs> oh no, Daddy. It's a great tree. I love her so much, and she loves me too. Why do you think that? She told me so. Boy, trees don't talk, and everybody knows it. Now you're getting old enough to start knowing the difference between real and make-believe. Well, she talks to me. Daddy, what's a funeral for? It was kind of our way of saying goodbye to Grandpa. Why did Grandpa have to die? Well, it's kind of a natural way of things. Somewhere there's a baby being born, and somewhere else someone has to die. No one really knows why for sure, but otherwise the world would be too full. We wouldn't want that now, would we? But I'd rather someone else died. The boy's mom enters room and shushes her husband out of the room. She sits down on the bed. Honey, it's okay to cry, but there's a reason Grandpa had to go. You see, God just kind of loaned Grandpa to us for a while. He wanted to spend some time with this lovely man he made. He missed him, and he wanted to be with him again. Will I ever get to borrow him back? You know, he really never left you. But he's not here anymore, is he? Can you think of something you and Grandpa used to do together for fun? We used to fish in the lake. Well, every time you think of that or anything else you and he did together, he's right there in your memory, and no one can take that away from you. They hug. I love you, Mommy. I love you, boy. Now it's time you get some sleep. Sweet dreams. Boy drifts off to sleep. Mom leaves the room. Rafikal slips in kind of magically. Dark, forbidding lighting. A fog enters with Rafikal. During the song, Rafikal touches and looks longingly at all the objects in the boy's bedroom. Almost as if he could have had this life, but once chose not to. And now would love a chance to go back in time and make a choice correction. He almost touches the boy, but never crosses that line. I'll be there in your nightmares. I'll be there in your dreams. I'll be there all around, you see, you have to deal with me. I'll be there when no one cares, I'll be there in your schemes. I'll be there to confound you, you'll have to deal with me. At 
times some things will look insane, at times you'll be confused. Summon me, I'll be there for your life to be abused. I'll be there in your nightmares, I'll be there in your dreams I'll be there all around, you see, you have to deal with me You don't need to see me, I will be right here You don't need to hear me, just feel me, year by year I'll be there in your nightmares, I'll be there in your dreams, I'll be there all around, you see, you have to deal with me. Try to be a man, it's the only way to fight, I'll enjoy the challenge each and every night. For I promise you, I'll be there in your nightmares, I'll be there in your dreams, I'll be there all around, you see, you have to deal with me, you have to deal with me, you have to deal. As song fades, the theater goes to a complete blackout.